Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Chariot reversed. What you're being told is that you're trying to work on a goal. You're trying to work on the manifestation. This could be money. This could be career. This could be anything in your life. Basically, it's a physical manifestation that you're trying to bring into your reality. And you're frustrated because it's not working. You're not able to bring it in. And that's because this is not the path that's meant for you. This is not what you're meant to do. You're facing resistance. You're facing roadblocks because this is not what spirit has in mind for you. This is never going to bring you anything that you want because this is not the right path you're meant to go down. Down. You have temperance and you have justice here. Okay, so you got major arcana. Things are not feeling fair for you, and that's adding to your frustrations. There feels like there's a lot of energy where you're like, I'm doing everything right. I should have this result. You're comparing yourself to a lot of different people, and you don't understand why it's working for them, but it's not working for you. And that's where you're being told with the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords that it's okay to not feel confident. It's okay to not feel like you know what you're doing. It's okay when it comes to this Ace of Pentacles here, that your plans, your goals, this manifestation has some risk to it, has some fears with it because that allows you to heal from it. That allows you to address what scares you in your life and to heal it and to grow and to learn and evolve. To me, it feels like your manifestations aren't working because you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. You're waiting for a different outcome without creating change, without taking any risk without taking a leap of faith on yourself and so yeah you're comparing yourself to everyone else you don't know what's going on behind the scenes they could be taking risks they could be doing things that scared them and you don't know about it because you only see the final result your paths to get there are going to be different so your results are going to vary based on what you're doing and that's where spirit's coming in to let you know like you're allowed to receive you're allowed to get good things in this lifetime but you need to be willing to go for what you want instead of waiting for it to be handed to you and so this is the universe telling you if it's not flowing to you if it's not working don't force it because that's your biggest block right now that's why you're not able to heal you're supposed to heal right now but you're not doing that because you're working at the same thing over and over and over instead of healing instead of accepting it and saying you know what this isn't working why is that addressing it getting to the root of the problem instead you're saying oh there's no problem there's no problem here it's gonna work it has to work and so you're this chariot trying to pull everything forward and it's reversed because you got to go back you got to do that work so instead of running from it and saying the problem's going to work itself out, say, no, it's not going to work itself out. This isn't going to change. My result is not going to come in just because I hope it does. I need to create that change. And this is spirit telling you, start to evaluate things in your life and realize why they're not working. Figure out so you can heal it. But don't just sit around waiting for a different outcome because everyone else is getting that outcome. You're not everyone else. It sucks, you know, if people get to do things easier than you and they get better rewards than you, but that doesn't make what's going on in your life any different. You can't control their life, but you can control you. And so if something is not working, don't push forward, don't run, don't ignore it. Face it, fix it, dig into your insecurity, dig into your fear, have the courage to do that but don't just ignore it and hope that something changes without actually making any changes in your life